It's Monday, April 4, 2011, and I'd like to call this meeting in the Norfolk City Council to order. I'd like to inform you that the open meeting law is posted on the northwest corner of, the, of this room, and this is an open meeting. So I'd ask if you would rise for a moment of silence and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a roll call, please. Coy. Here. Lange. Here. Merrill. Here. Boston. Here. Mirren. Here. Brenneman. Here. Faust. Here. Saunders. Here. Could I entertain a motion for to approve the consent agenda? So moved, Your Honor. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Your Honor, uh, there's an item on the couple items on the consent agenda that uh, I'm involved with, so I will declare a conflict of interest and will not vote on the consent agenda. Thank you, Councilman. With comments, please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Council person Faust abstaining. Motion carries. And entertain a motion to approve the full agenda. So move. Second. A motion and a second to approve the full agenda. Any discussion? Hearing none, please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Motion carries. That brings us to special presentations, and I'd call on our city administrator to give us a recreation update. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, just a short one this, this evening. We have a pre-construction meeting this week, Wednesday, with uh, DLR and the selected contractor, Nima Hall Construction. Um, I know they're anxious to get started. Uh, we anticipate uh, starting to take that sod off the football field here very soon within the next two to three weeks for sure and getting the dirt moving out there and so you're going to see the community is going to see a lot of action um, relatively soon so that's an exciting time also I know Councilman Muran had a question this morning he's getting uh, some questions out there from his constituency about uh, when the next bids will be let or at least the bidding documents will be let for the water piece of the recreation plan and that's towards the end of April Councilman, just to answer that question for you and your constituents, uh, appreciate that interest. Uh, so towards the end of April, here right at the end of April, those uh, those documents should be out on the street and ready for the contractors to look at. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have about the recreation plan at this point. Thank you. Hearing none, we'll move right on then, and I have a proclamation to I have a couple of proclamations. The first one pertaining to Fair Housing Proclamation. Whereas April 11, 2011, marks the 43rd anniversary of the passage of the U.S. Fair Housing Law, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968, as amended, which enumerates a national policy of fair housing with regards to race, color, creed, national origin, sex, family status, and handicap and encourages fair housing opportunities for all citizens. And whereas the Norfolk Housing Agency and the Norfolk Housing Development Division of the City of Norfolk are committed to highlight the Fair Housing, fair housing Law, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968 by continuing to address discrimination in our community to support programs that will educate the public about the right of equal housing opportunities 
and to plan partnership efforts with organizations to help assure every American of their rights to fair housing. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Brenneman, Council President of the City of Norfolk, Nebraska, by the power vested in me, do hereby proclaim April 2011 as Fair Housing Month. I have a second proclamation in recognition of Eagle Scout Scott Dustin Wood. Whereas the mission of the Boy Scouts of America is to prepare young people to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetime by instilling in them values of Scout Oath and Law, and whereas Dustin Wood is a member of the Boy Scouts of America, which provides an educational program for boys and young adults to build character, create a strong foundation of leadership, service, and community, train Scouts in responsibilities of participation participating citizenship and developing personal fitness, and whereas Dustin Wood is a member of Boy Scout Troop 122, Norfolk, Nebraska, and has completed the requirements for, has been examined by an Eagle Scout Board of Review, and has been found worthy to be awarded the highest rank of Eagle Scout. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Brenneman, Council President of the City of Norfolk, Nebraska, by the powers vested in me, to hereby recognize Eagle Scout Dustin Wood for his many achievements in the Boy Scouts of America and obtaining the rank of Eagle Scout. Dustin, would you please meet me at the podium? It's my pleasure to honor you with this proclamation. Thank you for all your hard work. Okay, now that brings us to a public hearing to comply with the provisions of Nebraska Revised Statutes 18-1755 before the con consummation and purchase of property of the City of Norfolk, Nebraska, which property is located at 808 South 7th Street. I believe Mr. Gary Bretsnyder will address this. Yes. Thank you, Council Members. I'm Gary Bretschneider with the Norfolk Housing Agency. And this property was a is part of the Community Revitalization Grant. Basically numbered 09CR107. It's part of round two, phase one. We have to purchase two lots to build new homes back on and have them low to moderate income people live in those. This property was owned by a family that the property was deteriorated on their own and they decided to take it down on their own without any encouragement from others. So it came on the market and we decided it would work in our best interest to purchase it to proceed with our CR grant. Any questions? We have one more that we have to purchase under this grant under 09CR107 and that will probably be in the next month or two so we get that addressed and then we'll be on to building the last four homes is what we have to build yet. This is a public hearing. Does anyone in the audience have a comment? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to approve the real estate purchase. So moved. Any further discussion? Hearing none, please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. And I have under consideration ordinance number 5155 authorizing a loan arrangement between the City of Norfolk Housing Agency providing for cooperation and financing, refunding of certain outstanding bonds of the agency and paying cost of improvement to existing Kenningstein housing facilities by providing financial support from the city if and when needed for the approximately $675,000 of revenue bonds to be issued by the agency. And I believe Mr. Randy Gates is going to address this. Yes, Your Honor. Do we need to introduce? I'll introduce ordinance number 5155. Second. 
We have a motion and a second to introduce Ordinance 5155. Any further discussion? Randy. Uh, the uh, housing agency owns the Kensington uh, downtown and have owned it for uh, a number of years. I think they purchased it in 1997, sometime in the 90s. And this facility now needs some improvements. It needs a new roof, uh, repairs the freight elevator, new windows, um, new boiler. The cost of these are estimated at about $525,000. <laughs> The Kensington currently does not have uh, cash flow uh, as they presently have their financing structured that enables them to have any free cash flow to pay for this project. So the agency has looked at refinancing their existing debt to free up some cash flow that could go into this project. The, uh, they have $510,000 bond issue they issued in 1997. There's $265,000 of those bonds presently outstanding. 65,000 of those bonds are taxable because at the time they did the original financing, over 10% of the Kensington was leased to commercial entities, and IRS regulations require that those bonds be issued at taxable rates. And they had, the rest of the bonds are at tax-exempt rates, and there's 200,000 of those. Interest rates have gone down substantially since then, and they could refinance these at lower interest rates and they could also refinance them all probably we presume as tax exempt. We'll be working with a little bit more of bond council to uh, document exactly uh, how the Kensington is being used. We feel all of these bonds can be issued as tax exempt and so that will really lower the interest rates on the uh, bonds that are outstanding that were taxable. The uh, original bonds did not have a city guarantee and what this loan agreement that you're considering under Ordinance 5155 is, is basically the city guaranteeing the debt service on this refinancing. But they were not marketable at that time without some sort of city backing. <coughs> so what the city did at that time, since statutes in 1997 did not allow cities to guarantee housing agency debt, was they allowed the agency to pledge their administrative fees that they received from HUD for the Section 8 program to pay this debt if they weren't able to do so from the Kensington's revenues. The effect of that was pretty much the same as a city guarantee without really being a city guarantee. As long as the uh, housing agency admin fees for Section 8 were more than the debt service, the financial effect on the city was the same because the city receives those admin fees since the program is administered by city staff and we incur the cost of running that program. Um, we've never had to tap those admin fees. The agency's always been able to make debt service out of the Kensington's cash flow, but it's, there's no room left. Once they pay uh, debt service, they're basically using all their existing cash flow. So by refinancing these bonds and extending the maturity and lowering the interest rates, they're going to be able to issue about $675,000 of new bonds these would go out a full 20 years. They also will free up some existing money with this refinancing. Since there was not a direct city guarantee of the prior bond issue, the bondholders required a debt service reserve. That's freed up. There's about $69,000 that's in that debt service reserve that can go into this project. They also have about $60,000 of cash on hand that can go in this project. So. With that, they will be able to afford the $525,000 of improvements that they need and it should keep debt service right around the same $50,000 that they have. So they won't have any excess cash flow, but hopefully they will have enough cash flow to make debt service and we won't have to touch this guarantee. And, and this guarantee is in the form of a, us agreeing, the city agreeing to loan the, Kent, or loan the housing agency if debt service if it's needed to pay these bonds. So we're guaranteeing the debt service on these bonds more or less. Even though that's not written exactly that way, that's what the effect of this is. And since these improvements are needed, uh, staff recommend the council approve this ordinance and the uh, form of the loan agreement that's in the agenda pack at the actual dollar amounts will change when the financing is done and we know what the interest rates are, either up or down a little bit depending on what interest rates actually come in at. I believe the housing agency is scheduled to 
uh, approve this bond issue, assuming the city approves the loan agreement tonight at their next meeting. So I'd answer any questions. And their next meeting is what day? Wednesday. This week? Okay. After Mr. Gates's explanation of this, we have a motion and a second. Are there any further questions? Your Honor, um, at this time I will be abstaining because of conflict of interest with this issue. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, short title, please. An ordinance authorizing the execution and delivery of a city loan agreement between the city and the Norfolk Housing Agency providing for the city to lend funds <clears throat> within specified limitations upon request by the agency as and when required for purposes of assuring timely payment of principal and interest on the agency's housing revenue and refunding bonds, Kensington Project Series 2011, authorizing any and all actions by the officers of the city to carry out the purposes of this ordinance and providing for publication of this ordinance. <clears throat> Please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Council person Marion Epstein. Motion carries on first reading for ordinance 5155. Randy, is this uh, something you'd like to see passed on second and third uh, due to the interests? Yes, yeah, staff would like this approved on all three readings since the uh, uh, financing is scheduled to be approved by the agency at their next meeting. Okay. That being said, uh, I would move that we um, suspend the rules and pass on second and third. Second. I have a motion and a second to pass ordinance 5155 on second and third. Any further discussion? Hearing none, please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Council person Marion abstaining. Uh, ordinance 5155 carries on second and third. Next item on the agenda is ordinance 5156, authorizing issuance of $2,005,000 of general obligation bonds to refund 230,000 of 2002 refunded bonds and $1,900,000 of 2003 refunded bonds. Entertain a motion. I would move that on consideration of first reading of ordinance 5156. Second. I have a motion and a second. Uh, I guess Mr. Gates would address this. Yes, I will, Your Honor. This is a uh, straightforward uh, refinancing of existing city debt. We have two general obligation bond issues that were issued for flood control purposes outstanding. The interest rates on those bonds for the 2002 bonds are from 4.65 to 5.1, and for the 2003, from 3.3 to 4.35. We'll rate, lower the rates substantially. The rates on these new bonds range from 0.5 to uh, 0.4, excuse me, to 2.55%. Uh, we're actually keep the debt service about the same or a little bit lower in each year and uh, cut the last two years of debt service off of the issue. The total savings over the next eight years is $302,200 in debt service. The net present value of this savings is $127,521, which is 5.987% of principal and meets the city's criteria for uh, issuing refunding bonds, and I recommend passage. And this is another one that we should do on all three readings because the interest rates are based on approval of tonight's meeting. We have a motion, a second, and an explanation. Any questions? Hearing none, short title, please. An ordinance ordinance authorizing the issuance of general obligation refunding bonds of the City of Norfolk, Nebraska in the principal amount of $2,500,000 for the purpose of paying and redeeming $230,000 of the City's outstanding refunding bonds, Series 2002, date of original issue April 23, 2002, and $1,900,000 refunding bonds, Series 2003, date of original issue August 15, 2003 directing the application of the proceeds of said bonds, prescribing the form of said bonds, providing the levy and collection of taxes to pay the same, providing for the sale of the bonds, authorizing the delivery of the bonds to the purchaser, and ordering the ordinance published in pamphlet form. 
Please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Ordinance 5156 carries on first reading. Again, I would like to suspend the rules and pass this on second and third reading due to the fact of the significant savings in the finance. I'll second, second that. <laughs> We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules and pass on second and third. Any further discussion? Please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Ordinance 5156 carries on second and third. Brings us to the next item on the agenda and resolution number 2011-5. Resolution 2011-5 last five, calling for $230,000 of outstanding series 2,000 general obligation refunding bonds and $1,900,000 of outstanding series 2003 general obligation bonds refunding bonds for redemption on May 10, 2011. Do I have a motion? Your Honor, I would introduce resolution 2011-5. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please vote. All council persons voting in the affirmative. Resolution 2011-5 is adopted. I believe we've concluded our regular agenda. I entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion, Your Honor. A second. We are adjourned. Sleep over the whistle. Slow on the whistle. Mm -hmm. Dave, slow on the whistle this time. <laughs>